Oncology TV at ASCO 2015. Thomas Baldrick with Dr. Brandon Myers from McMaster University and the Juravinci Cancer Center north of the American border. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about your work with the Cochrane Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Adjuvant Therapy for Stage 2 Colon Cancer. What exactly did you set out to do here? So this is an area of uh, colon cancer management uh, that has been debated for the last several decades. Um, it is an area where um, typically stage three is very cut and dry of how patients are managed, and those are um, stage three patients where they have uh, lymph node involvement, um, and chemotherapy clearly has benefit there and is pretty much the standard worldwide um, wherever you go. Um, Stage two uh, colon cancer is a different category and some of the uh, stage two colon cancer patients actually do worse than some of the stage three and the factors that are involved in that are a little unknown. Um, part of it may be that um, patients aren't getting chemotherapy, but it's also that there are some um, factors within uh, stage two uh, that they don't all behave the same. And so uh, some of those patients probably have a rate of recurrence that's even as uh, higher than some stage three uh, patients. And so there's been multiple um, analyses and these are, uh, these are statistical ways to look at other studies. And the issue of stage two is that it's, um, it's a population that does better. So if an individual study was going to uh, be conducted, um, the thought is that it would require around 4,000 patients. And for a, a study to accrue rapidly and give results, uh, that's really not reasonable. Um, and so a number of analyses have been undertaken by uh, different groups, including uh, Mayo Clinic and Cancer Care Ontario over the last several years, uh, with updated analyses showing trends to benefit, but not translating into survival benefit, which um, it depends who you ask what people factor is important, whether disease recurrence um, or overall survival are key outcome measures. but. Uh, in this latest analysis, we have the largest pooling of uh, data. Now, this is not pooling of individual data. It's um, published uh, results that are available to anyone. So how are you pooling all of this data? So we actually use the, um, the published results um, that provided data on stage two colon cancers. Um, we had a number of uh, inclusion criteria of studies that we would include. The biggest thing is that these are studies that included a control arm which uh, has not been done recently in this day and age. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been hard recently to have studies where you have a control or observation arm where it's just simply observation done after surgery as the um, standard treatment. So what discoveries have you made based on where you are at this point in time? So I don't know that this is so much of a discovery. Um, really, there's been a lot of groups that have published previously showing suggestions and trends um, that chemotherapy has a benefit. And this updated analysis is really the largest that's been published to date. And specifically looking at uh, chemotherapy that uh, is used in this day and, uh, day and age, essentially. Um, and what we found is we actually now found both a survival benefit um, and benefit for disease-free survival it's only for newer chemotherapy. And when I say newer chemotherapy, that's standardly what's used of 5-fluorouracil uh, with um, no additional drugs. So how about further investigation? So I think really the, the next step uh, with this population is moving the way a lot of oncology is, and that is uh, moving to molecular testing to identify patients who have uh, molecular signatures or a phenotype uh, that suggests that they could derive larger benefit and specifically targeting those patients. And studies like that may be able to show a larger benefit uh, because you're treating the patients who will likely derive larger benefit and avoiding treatment in those who may not uh, have the same benefit. Dr. Myers, thanks for coming by, joining us and, and sharing news of your work. We appreciate it. Thank you.